to my old sheep house. My name is Ingolfur and uh, I'm a wildlife photographer and uh, I don't know, know the English words for it, but uh, I basically plant trees here uh, on our, our farm, farm called Freysolar in Iceland. And me and my wife, we bought this farm uh, two years ago and we've been uh, restoring the buildings and I've been chopping uh, firewood and running uh, small uh, projects. And one of these projects I'm gonna turn into a short film here on YouTube. It is the mouse project. Sounds crazy, but uh, in my area there is not much uh, wildlife and uh, I would like to have a lot more. So I was thinking if I would uh, help the mice and uh, bring them to greater numbers and I will have more traffic of owls and the foxes will have uh, more more to eat and and the mouse project uh, among uh, other projects i'm running here to increase uh, increase uh, life for, for the animals for the insects to the mouses to the birds and uh, all kinds of things i'm trying to help 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 the nature and and hopefully I will benefit from it by having uh, more traffic on our land and uh, and the dream is to is to uh, be able to photograph here wildlife I'm already doing that but you know it's it's a lot of time and effort to do so and yeah, let's see what the mouse project is about. Right. What I've done is I built boxes from a... <laughs> from uh, old wood I, I got from the old cheap house when I was uh, cleaning it out and I had a lot of excess uh, timber and from this timber I've been building uh, boxes feeding boxes and house boxes. I use this for for the roof and the floor. So I put it together and in some boxes I put uh, wool from uh, Icelandic sheep for insulation and I also put uh, a little bit food and in, in uh, but then in the most boxes I put uh, just uh, food some sheets and uh, peanut butter and and all kinds of stuff i'm also making uh, nesting boxes like this and uh, I'm, I'm putting them up in the forest uh, to help the small birds to nest and and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how how that will go here's a uh, one design and then we just put a hole here and hang it up in a tree Yeah, now I, I put some sheets and uh, peanut butter and put it in this can and 
And now, me and my dog, Hankur, Hankur, we're gonna have a walk and, and visit some of the boxes. And we're gonna take you with us. Yeah, now we are at, at the entrance of the old forest and uh, there is a box but I can see fresh, uh, fresh fox tracks. Fox is my favorite favorite animal to photograph. I spent, spent a ridiculous amount of trying to photograph the Arctic fox, but the success rate is not high in percentages. But I started this like almost three years ago now, and uh, and I have some fox photos to show. But uh, let's focus on the mouse project. Yeah, here we have a box. I checked it uh, yesterday or day before, I can't remember, but it was uh, empty, so it needs a uh, refill. Gonna put the uh, seeds and uh, peanut butter here. Hangur is very interested in this. Now this is, looks like a nice place for the mouses to come. Put the roof on. Yeah. And we're good to go. Now I'm uh, going to a box, there, there is a wool inside, so the mouse is, they stay there, hopefully, and hopefully they will uh, start new families and increase their numbers. I have quite a few of those boxes, but uh, I'm just going to show one, so Let's see how it goes. Hopefully somebody is home and we will get a shot of the residence. This is the box and it is opening. And yes, there is traffic. It is nice. Very, very nice. So I'm gonna put this camera here. We will film the residence. Oh.
Looks like uh, nobody's home. Maybe the dog uh, scared them. Scared them. I'm pretty sure they are here inside the wool but just gonna leave, let it leave be you know this is actually the first time I jack this box and I don't see three or four mice at least so Maybe I have to check another. Yeah, let's do it. Hi, good. Look at the two I keep going at. Ha. Or hi, the Mishnah. Weather is nice. Sun is shining. There's a lot of wind, but. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm sheltered by the forest. And, uh, it's not so much snow now. It all rained away a few weeks ago when I was uh, traveling to India and Mongolia. And I find this very beautiful. And uh, it's my absolute favorite season. But I'm always crying for... Uh, Always crying for more snow. Then you get more snow, then you complain it's too much snow and you know you can't get around and all kinds. But it is what it is and I, I, I just love it, you know. I think uh, Heinkur li likes it too. Yeah, we're gonna learn from uh, our mistakes and gonna put put the dog in the car while I'm uh, checking the checking the next box. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that he scared the mice away, but let's see if I'm correct. Yeah, here is my photo blind. I sometimes sit here and wait for the foxes to show up. This winter I try to have a, a light where I put the treats for the foxes. Uh, they haven't been uh, getting any treats. in India and they manage but I can see here that we have tracks so they are coming around but today we gotta we gotta focus on the mouse Maybe the box is under the snow, but you know, but let's see. Let's see if we are able to find the box. Yeah, 
it's covered. Up. The box is here. And of course frozen. Whoa! Action! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, and now I just put a little bit more food and they will be back. But it's clearly working and I'm very happy with that. This is a uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, one of my favorite projects. Well, they are all my favorites. But in this lo location, uh, I put down a, a stump, and a few meters from it, there is a mouse box to attract the mice where I put food. And. Uh, I already had success with it, but hopefully in the future uh, it's gonna have a more success when uh, the owl will hunt on this field. And I'll show you. There it is. There is the feeding station. And this is the field that. We're not gonna cut the grass on this summer. Gonna have it wild, wild grass and hopefully some wild flowers and and we, it's gonna be interesting to see if it if it delivers. Let's see if there is uh, some food inside. Yeah, there is food. Some peanut butter. And evidence that the mouse has come here, so I'm super happy with this. This is a typical feeding box, and uh, I have quite a few of them, so hopefully, hopefully, in the near future. We will have more mice, more owls, more birds, more of everything. <laughs> Imagine if it works. Yeah, hi. Now we've gone over the mouse project. And I'm just going. Uh, I'm, making, I'm just making this video as I go, you know, I, I don't have a script or anything, so maybe it's dreadful, I don't know. But I enjoy it, and uh, there's one more thing uh, I want to mention before I close this up. It's, uh, in Iceland there is, uh, there are a few short-tailed owls, and... There is a project in the south where they put uh, some baskets up in the trees to help them nest and uh, it's been uh, very successful and they estimate the, you know, there are around 20 pairs or something that are nesting now in Iceland, but, and hopefully they are spreading around the country and uh, I'm building the boxes, not baskets. So it's like uh, so so uh, so a film on YouTube uh, from some some guy in Litauen. I can't remember his name, but I saw this box uh, 
and I got the measurements and everything and so I made a tentacle box to put up in my forest so probably I'm gonna make uh, two three boxes like this in the old forest here on the farm and uh, hopefully hopefully in the near future it's probably not gonna happen this year but you know you never know and uh, hopefully in the near future we will have a nesting is long-eared owl on uh, on the farm and yeah that's something to work on and uh, it just blows my mind to think about it you know have a have a nesting uh, long-eared owl on my, on my farm it, it's gonna be awesome but this is the box here it is This one is not, yeah, it's, I try to build it nicely and uh, make it strong and hopefully it will uh, deliver. But it's, it's cold today and uh, I'm getting coffee thirsty. So let's go to the coffee shop, make some coffee. This is a small shed, a heated shed in the, in the old sheep house. From the looks of it, uh, I need to clean this up a little bit, make it tight, tight and icy, you know. And I'm not gonna do it now. Now I'm just gonna press this button. <laughs> and have a good coffee cup. Yeah, now it's time uh, for a coffee. Before I go home, I went over the mouse project and my owl project a little bit and there is a fox, Arctic fox project also, so and in the near future I will uh, hopefully log about it and you know I keep you, keep you posted by the process, hopefully there is going to be a process, so I already put some uh, videos on uh, YouTube from my from my snow leopard trip in, in India. I just finished the, when I'm recording this. Uh, I just put up the last episode from the India, and uh, soon I'll be starting uh, working on the Mongolia trip. And I enjoy it a lot. You know, it's it's not uh, like a very professional uh, video making, but. It started all with uh, me go, going uh, to India to, to photograph the snow leopard. And I wanted to lock it, you know, just for myself. And, but I have to admit it, I, I'm a heavy user of YouTube. And I, that's my all-time favorite uh, platform. And I follow fantastic uh, photographers there. And, and use it a lot and um, so I always wanted to, to have a YouTube channel but I was shy, I was scared and embarrassed so but uh, going to India following the snow leopard and starting to vlog for myself it's just yeah it just that's how it started you know and let's see how, how it goes but now it's coffee and until next time take care